Hi guys, this is Nick Schrader from Nick's Whip Shop. Um, just now finishing up my latest whip. It's a 8 foot target whip. Um, in this video I'm going to show you guys how to make a fall, a nylon fall for your bull whip. Um, what you're going to want to do first of all is decide on a length that you want for your fall. In this case, uh, this fall is going to be about 20 inches. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to cut a piece of paracord double the length of what your fall is going to be. So I have here about a 40 inch piece of paracord. Next up is to gut the paracord. Just going to pull it out. Okay. Now, if you have a permalock needle, now would be the time to screw it on here. Um, unfortunately, I do not have a permalock needle. I need to get one, though. Uh, so in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make a fall without a permalock needle. Um, this is the way I do it, because I don't own one. You're going to need a nail, about this size. You're going to need a snippers and a file. Go ahead and snip the part that you pound, the hammer end. Snip that off the nail. Watch your eyes. And I'm just going to file it down a little bit. Now the other side you're going to file is the actual point of the nail. You're just going to file that down to a very nice smooth point. Okay? Just like that. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's a nice sharp little point there. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take some tape. Uh, duct tape works good. I also have this metallic tape that I use. Very strong stuff. They actually use this for patching the boats. So, you're going to take a piece about this big. And you don't want it to be too big or else the nail will be too bulky and won't slide through the paracord. So what you're going to do, you're going to take one end of the paracord that you just uh, gutted. And you're going to put the nail inside the paracord about halfway, okay? I like that. Now you're going to take your tape. That might actually be a little too much. We're just going to take off some of this tape because it's sticky enough. We don't need a whole lot. Now here's your nail and here's your tape. Take, take it like this and just wrap it right around just like that. You're going to want this to be very flat. You don't want any air bubbles in there because if it's bulky, it's not going to go through the paracord. We're going to thread the paracord through itself. That's what we're basically doing here. So just, you know, roll it on the ground or on the uh, table you're working on. Okay, so you'll come up with something like this. And we just made a makeshift permalock needle, but we really did. Now the second step is to double the paracord in half and find the middle. So it's right here. Mark it, or if you're ready to do it, just go ahead and do it. What you're going to do is you're going to take this, and you're just going to poke a small hole in the paracord, just like that. You're going to feed it inside of itself. Sometimes you have to be a little patient with it, because I found that although I purchased my paracord from the same companies, sometimes they behave differently somehow. Okay. Sometimes you'll need to open up the hole just a little bit. One second. So I just have a screwdriver here, a Phillips screwdriver. And I'm just gonna open up that hole that I just made a little bit. That. Just putting it in there, just kind of reaming it out a little bit, actually. Stretch it a little bit. And I'm actually going to go ahead and make a small snip inside the hole just to open it up just a little bit more. So I won't be struggling to get this nail and paracord inside, okay? So let's do it again. Yes, it is slower than using permalock needle, but, you know, if you don't have one, it's Nice little way to do it. Feeding inside of itself, just like that. I've actually, see that? This is a good example of what I was saying earlier. 
tape is much too thick. So I actually have to take it off and rewrap it with less tape. So I'm doing that right now. Or you could simply stop this video and go purchase a permalog needle because they're much more efficient than this. But this is for you folks that are possibly getting into whip making. Maybe you don't know if you like it yet. You don't feel like purchasing a permalock needle. Usually works a little better than this. Murphy's Law, getting a video. So let's tear off another piece of tape. Okay. Like that. And let's get our nail. It, try to wrap it a little tighter than I did last time. It's a little too bulky. Slide through there. I'm actually going to snip off all this excess because I don't even need it. I'm actually just going to snip that right off because that's just going to get in my way. Okay, once again, I'm going to roll this. And we're going to try again. We already have our middle because we were picking at it and poking it and trying to fit our nail in there. So let's see that. Should work a lot better now. There it is. It's always hard to get started. But once you get the nail inside there, it usually goes a lot smoother. Not always. Usually And I'm just kind of inching it through, you know, like pushing and pulling here, pushing it and pulling here. So I'm just going to keep doing that. And sometimes this can take up to 10 minutes, depending on the length of your fall and how bulky, once again, how bulky you have your uh, tape. Which is mine is kind of bulky because it's taking me quite a bit of time to get this through. So, anyways, uh, keep doing this until you get all the way here. I'm gonna actually stop the video because I don't think you want to see a 20 minute video of me just sitting in one spot inching my way through to the other side, so I'm going to make a part two, and uh, we'll pick it up, so click on part two, and uh, we'll finish this, thanks, see you guys.